Am I gonna be mad that I wore these glasses this whole video? Let's wait and see. Hey everybody, welcome back to Keys, Looks, and Books. Today I'm going to be doing a reading vlog. This started The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue. I feel like everybody's been talking about this book. I heard the description of this book and I don't typically read spooky books. At the most I'll do, I love fantasy, so I'll do magic, I'll do, you know, post-apocalyptic world, like I'm down for that, right? But I don't, use, I don't play with ghosts. So I was a little... <laughs> Not quite. Okay. So I was a little scared to jump into it because it's usually not my cup of tea, but I did start it. But basically the premise is there's a girl who makes a deal with the devil. In this case, it's they actually refer to it as a god or it refers to itself as a god. I don't know about that, but yeah, she makes a deal basically with the devil um, to live forever. And, but the like trade off is that no one will remember her. So I feel like at some point, I think the point of the book is that eventually somebody is going to remember her. Um, but obviously that messes up the deal that she made with the devil. And so trying to see how it will react to her um, or how she'll get somebody to remember her or what that scenario is going to be. I'm excited to see what happens. So I'm only about 56 pages in, but I will update you. Um, as I read it and let you know how I'm feeling about it. So let's get into this reading vlog. I'm probably not gonna use that transition, but. Okay, what's up y'all? So it has been weeks since I actually started this book and not weeks, a week since I started this book. Um, I wasn't able to finish it in one fell swoop. It is over 400 pages, closer to 450. And I just couldn't, I, I couldn't finish it in a day. The vlog part of this video, I feel like wasn't super long. So I think I'm just gonna put my review of this in this video. I was gonna do a separate one, but I feel like I should just throw it in here. So let's do it. First thoughts, V Schwab. This is my first time reading her. Love her writing off rip. I was like, I'm gonna enjoy this. Like the actual writing of this, her voice is very lyrical, very poetic. First impression, that's what I thought. The characters, I thought very unique she makes it so that you don't you know get them confused with anybody else because i have that problem sometimes with books that have like a lot of characters sometimes i'm like okay who's speaking now what's happening because the author didn't take the time to differentiate between characters or give each character some defining feature so that we knew you know if there's multiple people in the room we can tell who's speaking or even if it's not like a physical um feature which they typically give if it's just their speech, the way that they talk, you'll be able to tell who's speaking and what's happening. So she does that really well. Never got confused with who was who. And spoiler alert, spoiler alert. So skip this part if you don't want a spoiler. There is a part in the book where you find out that two characters have the same face pretty much. And she even does, not even pretty much, they, they have the same face. They, they are basically the same physical you know being they look the same um and she even manages to make that very very clear that this is this person this is this person they have different names um 
but I think personality wise, like you'll, you'll, you'll understand why they're so different, but um, she does that really well, I think. So those are two things that I really, really enjoyed about this book. Another thing, I think the actual storyline itself was really unique. I've never read a book like this. We have this dual timeline happening too. So she is, she as in V.E. Schwab, is taking us through the beginning of um, Addie's life as far as when she first makes the deal with the devil. And then it goes back and forth between that and her present life and how she's living now post deal. So into the parts that I didn't like that much, I didn't enjoy the fact that there's definitely like 100 to 150 pages in the middle of it that you just don't need. Um, I love her writing, but at some point, at some point the actual writing was muffling the story, I feel like. It was kind of distracting me from the actual action because I wanted stuff to happen. You needed some of the, the history of Addie in order to understand her. You needed the history of some of the other characters um, in order to understand how they fit into each other. Um, in how they fit into each other's lives. But I didn't need like a full on history lesson. Like I felt like there was just a lot of like little itty bitty details that you didn't, you didn't need. Another thing I realized after these past couple of weeks um, with the books I've been reading that I'm not really a fan of omniscient points of view. I feel like they just don't do it for me. I prefer first person, especially with this type of book. I think I would have loved first person there. That would have been amazing. I just feel like it, you would have gotten a lot more out of it. Those little moments would have mattered more coming from Addie and not from this like omniscient point of view. Also, the ending does not slap. I don't know what I wanted to happen at the end, but I, it felt like Schwab already knew how she wanted it to end. And so it felt kind of rushed. It felt like it was like, like a lot of stuff was being added that was over my head. It wasn't given, you know? And then all of a sudden it's like action, 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 action. And it just, I don't know. I just wasn't, um, I wasn't fully invested with the ending. And also she makes the deal because she's like, I don't wanna live this basic life here, you know? I wanna go explore, I wanna go do art, I wanna go and just be great, you know? I don't wanna stay here, I don't wanna just be a wife and mother, I want to, you know, do other things. The end, I felt like it's supposed to be for her, you know? I, I felt like the end, she was still sacrificing something for somebody else. But I'm trying not to spoil it. <laughs> It seemed like the end got rushed and it seemed like the ending still wasn't for her. Well, I feel like she still ended up sacrificing a lot for somebody else. Still sacrificing a lot when she's already literally sold her soul. Like I, overall I ended up rating this a three. The overall reading experience, as far as enjoyment, I would give it like a two. Um, but like I said, the characters were super defined. The storyline, I've never read anything like it. And the actual writing of Schwab, she's a beautiful writer, very lyrical, very poetic. Um, so I did enjoy that. So overall, encompassing all of that, I decided to rate it a three out of five stars. Um, I'll link my Goodreads down below. But that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you do decide to read this book, please leave a comment down below. Or if you already read it, leave a comment. Let me know how you felt about it. And yeah, if you liked it, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. If not, just, just leave. Hopefully you'll like another video if you didn't like this one. So yeah, that's it. Um, make sure you like, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I'll see y'all in my next video. Okay, <laughs> something's wrong with me.